Today we're going to be playing Set Cubed. Set Cubed is a game that uses squares or dice with different colors, shapes on them, and you use that to build patterns, kind of like you do with Scrabble. The hardest part about Set Cubed is understanding what makes a set. A set always consists of three dice. Each dice has different colors, green, red, and purple, different shapes, ovals, squigglies, and diamonds, and different number of elements. There can be one, there can be two, or there can be three. A set occurs when you have all colors, all the same shapes, or different one, two, and three. So for example, if we look at this, you can see in this example, that this makes a set. It's a red oval, three, two purple squigglies, and one green diamond. That makes a set because all three of them are different colors, all three of them are different symbols, and all three of them are different numbers. And in another example over here, you can see that this makes a set because they are all the same color, they are all the same symbol, and they all have the same number on them, okay? Some things that do not make a set is if you notice this one. It is a red, it's a green, and it's a purple, so it does use three different colors. However, two of the shapes are exactly the same. You can't have that. You can have to have three different shapes. The same is true with this example. You have all the same color, which is right, but you have the same number of elements. So there's three here and three here. You can't have that. You need to have a one, two, and a three. To play the game, what happens is you have a bag with all the dice in it. Everyone pulls out five dice out of the bag. Once they've pulled the dice out, everybody has pulled out their five dice then everybody at one time will roll their dice. And they are trying to make a set. So everybody rolls their dice once and then they look at it to see, can we make a set? If you can make a set, you say, oh, I have a set. If I look at this one, I do not have a set. I have, I don't have any green, so I can't do the same thing. Does this hand have a set? This hand has a set because it's different one at a time. It has three different shapes, but it has different one, two, and three, but this is not the same color, right? You need to have three different colors, so this isn't a set either. If nobody can make a set, everybody picks up their dice and they roll them again, and they're trying to make a set. I still cannot make a set. This hand cannot make a set. So you keep doing that until somebody can make a set for the very first time. Wait, but this, is, this isn't oh, a set. That can be a set. That is a set because it's one, two, and three. It's all the same colors and it's all the same shape. So now it goes on the first square. Then the next person in line looks at theirs. They don't roll them. They look at theirs and they say, okay, can I build a set out of this? I cannot build a set, so this hand cannot build anything off of this, and so they would, well, actually, nope, nope, they can't build a set out of this. And so now this hand would draw up the three tiles they just used. Once everybody has gone around and played, everybody then draws a square out of the bag, and at the same time, everybody rolls. So every, you don't draw the dice until you're ready, till everybody's gone around once. So once everybody's gone around once, you all draw so you're back to five and then everybody rolls at one time. Now we look at it again. He looks at his, can he make another set? Can he make a set out of what he has? Yes, he can. He can make a set out of, he's got red and green. So now he gets three points for making a set here. Now it's my turn. 
I look at it and I say, can I make a set? I can make a set by doing this. One, two, three. So I get three points for making a set out of this one. Now, if you notice, there's a special wild card that can be used at any time, if you would like. Once everybody's gone around and played, now everybody draws a dice and attempts to roll those dice and do they match with what they have? And then you can go from there. So play continues around the table until everybody has played and you keep going around. On the last draw, there might not be enough dice in the bag for all the players to have five. So the first player gets to draw their dice first, then all the other players can bring their total up to five or whatever is left. The offset is that the first player can only make three points off of their first turn. Play continues until one player is completely out of dice. Once a player runs out of dice, each of the remaining player that has not yet had a turn in that round gets to have one more turn before the game is over. And that is how you play Set Cubed. Thank you.